Anthony Nate here, here at the premiere of Proving Grounds, documentary film by UFC Fighting Out, the man of the hour, the Greg Jackson. How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm doing all right. Thank you very much. <laughs> very excited evening for yourself, uh, the whole Jackson camp. Yeah. You know, t- tell us you know, how the whole year has been filming the movie and everything. You know, uh, we're used to having cameras around for the UFC and stuff, so it wasn't too big of a jump to have a documentary film uh, about us around. But uh, it, it was nice when it was there, but now it's also nice when the cameras aren't there because we can do a little bit more, you know, you get little things like you can't play your music in the middle of fighting yeah. and stuff. So, you know, little things like that. But uh, it was actually a lot of fun. Um, I hope the movie comes out well, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see if, uh, if the guy's blood, sweat, and tears are really recorded well on it. What's the overall message that you would like, you know, the fans to convey, you know, to give to the fans through the movie? I'd like to show them that it's an art, not just a bunch of guys going in there and slugging it out, that it is a tremendously hard thing to do, that these guys that put their heart, soul, just basically their livelihood, their dreams, everything on the line, that means something, that's worth something. And uh, it, it, it's very, very important for you to follow your dreams. It's very, very important for you to be an artist and to try to be better than you were the day before. If you can convey that, I'll be real happy. Nice. Sounds like a great event. It's a good thing going on here. A lot of growth with the company and your gym over the years. A lot of people have asked me to ask you, what is the possibility of UFC coming to Albuquerque? You know, I think it's a good possibility. Um, the uh, We have to find the right venue. You know, if the pit's all renovated and everything, that'd be great. We have to find the right venue and have the right time. But uh, if we do, I mean, obviously Albuquerque has always stood behind us. That's one of the reasons that we're such a strong team is we have uh, Albuquerque and the entire state of New Mexico standing behind us. So if we bring the UFC, I'm sure you're going to sell it out. Any last message you want to put in on the Jackson camp and the movie? Uh, uh, Check out the movie. I hope uh, its job is to inspire you, so I hope it does that. I'm Anthony A. Greg Jackson here at the premiere of Proving Ground. Hi, I'm Azalea Black, and we're at the premiere of The Proving Ground, and I'm here with Demacia Page. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. appreciate it. Awesome. Are you excited about the movie? Um, yeah, you know, it's cool to see Greg out there, you know, it's, uh, he deserves it, so I think it's going to be good for uh, just for our gym in general and for Greg and his recognition. What type of training do you do to get ready for a fight? Uh, I, I go kicking in the South Valley for a while, you know, um, pull my paletto, run around the neighborhood, nice. try to catch roosters and chickens. <laughs> like, uh, like Rocky? No, I eat them. Oh, you eat them? Mm. No, um, you know, I, I wake up in the morning, go for a nice little run, you know, probably uh, three to four times a week. Uh, work pad, work with uh, Mike Winklejohn, and uh, work out with the team uh, five days a week, and run sand dudes, lift weights, do all kinds of crazy stuff. So it's like a, I'm like a crazy maniac when I'm training. Wow, don't want to be around you. <laughs> so what do you got coming up next? Uh, I don't know, you know, it's up to the UFC. Um, I probably won't be fine until like July, August, so I'm just waiting for a call. If uh, I already told them, if someone gets injured, call me up, I'm in. So. I'm excited to see you. All right, I'm Azalea Black, and you're watching V6M TV. Anthony A here at the premiere of Proving Grounds. Got my man Ricky here, the general manager of Jackson's. I know, let, let the people know what goes into managing a gym that, you know, the outside people may not know about it. Um, keeping a lot of people happy all the time. That's the hardest part. But, uh, no, there's a lot behind it, you know. Uh, the academy itself is really the bread and butter of what makes that gym uh, turn, you know, turn its wheels. And so, Greg Jackson, since 1992, has started this gym as a self-defense for men, women, and children first. It just happens that it works good in a cage. So that's really what he's, you know, famous for. And so, along with that, come about 80 other fighters. So you can imagine that's a lot of work all by itself. That sounds like a challenging job. Uh, about the premiere tonight, let's get to the premiere tonight. How do you feel about that and everything about the movie, the whole project? I'm excited. You know, this is an opportunity for people to see what this gym is about. 
uh, how it's run like a family and how we all work together and uh, how each person is vital as just the next to make this thing as successful as it is. As it is. And uh, the integrity, respect, the family aspect of it, how it all came together, where we're at today, and what makes it so successful. To the, you know, to the kids, like you said, you guys teach kids to do everything now. There. What's the message you want to convey to them you know, about UFC fighting in general? You know, not, it's not just a bunch of guys getting there and knocking each other out. What's behind it to you? Uh, this is a sport, you know, just like any other sport. And so sometimes people convey it as a violent sport, but it depends on, you know, as Dana White has said in the past, what you consider violent. You know, professional football players, best shape of their life, running 100 miles per hour, smashing into each other, crushing each other's limbs. You know, this is a sport for us. And so you have your aspects just like how they got founded with, you know, karate versus jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu versus Muay Thai, who's going to win? And so you take all those aspects, you put them all together in a safe environment, and it creates a beautiful thing. Any last message? No, thanks for coming out and supporting. Uh, no problem, thank you. I'm Anthony A V6 MTV. Thank you. Hi, I'm Azalea Black and you're watching V6 M T V. And I'm here with Coach Wink from Jackson's Gym. Hi, thanks for having me. No problem. How are you doing tonight? Are you excited about the movie? I'm I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. They're in there filming quite a bit and people are doing some crazy things in the gym. They like being on uh, uh, in front of the screen, I think, a little bit. So we'll see what it's what it's like tonight. How long did the movie take to film? Gosh, you know what, I, I wouldn't even know. I'm just in there training fighters and stuff. They, they seem like it was over a course for months. Oh, and how, how long ago did you start fighting? 1980. Wow, it was a couple years before I was born. <laughs> Quite a few years before you were born, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate you doing the interview with me. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm Azalea Black, and this is V6M TV.